Hi guys, um, a special shout out to all of our new amazing followers on Love Well. Um, thank you for joining us. I promised you we'd be doing a bunch of videos. Um, so this is one of the ones I was talking about. I wanted to talk uh, a little bit about Christmas. Obviously it's coming up, which is nuts to me how fast this year has gone. I'm sure some of you feel the same way. I was like, I was pregnant at the beginning of this year and I gave birth in the middle part of this year then I went and shot a whole show I mean it's been a crazy year um, and I think a lot of people end up leaving their Christmas gifts uh, last to the last minute which I am definitely uh, capable of doing I've done that previous years this year I feel a little bit more organized because uh, it's the middle of November and I've almost got everything done. Uh, I wanted to suggest a couple of ways of doing your Christmas shopping. I, um, I'm an online shopper with my uh, Christmas gifts. Um, we This year, the boys really, really want uh, puggles from the Lost Forest. Now, I will say, if you have children... These are the most beautiful little creatures that you can um, send to your kids. Some of you might remember the Lost Forest from back in the 90s. It was this magical little shop and I think almost every state had one and you'd walk in and there's creatures hanging from the ceiling and in trees and there's this rainforest music going and um, it was all dark and cute and um, you would catch the puggles that would slide down the tree into your arms and you would talk about how you're adopting these little creatures and it was just such a magical place and um anyway they it they sort of went broke in the 90s and then revamped again and they've just come out uh, over i think it's been the last 18 months have been open so there's one store in the docklands in victoria which is um called the lost forest and i get my kids toys from there because they're both forest and Bodhi are both obsessed with everything to do with the lost forest all the creatures and the puggles and and the beautiful thing about puggles is puggle stands for peace understanding generosity gentleness love and energy and so we actually use the word puggle as one of our family foundations so we say how do we try and be more like puggle and we integrate the meaning of puggle peace and understanding and love and uh, and so I think that's a really beautiful gift if you have children to um, get them into the lost forest and they also do custom orders. So that is just a suggestion if you have children. Um, that's a little side note. But another thing that I think is really imperative is we have all this self-imposed business, right? We've got one thing after the other and going to school runs and we're working crazy hard um, in our careers and just trying to balance work life parenthood everything our social lives and it gets really hectic so um being organized is key but also uh, instagram and other social media um platforms that we use they target you with these little specific ads and i'm convinced and in fact i think people have talked about our phone listens and takes note of the things that we're interested in and then conveniently an ad will pop up and I'm one of those people that just is so quick to be like, oh, that looks good, it's made for me, bye. Um, I think that we need to make sure that we are not getting into the habit of doing that and taking an hour or two out of your week to sit down and consciously think about the kind of gifts you want to be giving. We are um, major supporters of giving the gift of wellness. So actually with Love Well, what we're doing for the next three weeks is we, ha we are giving a discount so that you guys can send Love Well to your friends and family. You can send the Grow and the Blossom package or you can send them individually. But that was our gift to you guys for Christmas is that we are going to give you a discount so that you can make Love Well one of your presents for your friends and family and then you're actually showing up for them in a way that's really meaningful you're giving them the gift of health and um um 
Sorry, I had an interruption by a child, which is what happens when you're a working mummy. Uh, which is funny because today's my day off, my very rare day off. Um, okay, so what I was saying was that we are giving this discount because that is our gift to you guys. Um, but also it's a really good way to give your loved ones um, a product that means they can just fold it into their routine and they're giving themselves health and they're starting their day off really well. I think once you're in the pattern of you wake up, you have your glass of warm water and lemon, and then you make your love well, you know you're set for the rest of the day. I give it to my kids in the morning. And it's it's not just one of these typical gifts that pops up on Instagram and then you buy it and, um, and then you just end up sort of throwing it away and not using it. You actually get to consume it and you can, um, yeah, and it's good for you. And it's, it's, a, it's a positive gift to have. And I think every Christmas, I end up buying so much junk that the kids don't use um, or I get gifted stuff that I end up just re-gifting or I'll give away um, because I'm really all about embracing minimalism right now. So less stuff makes me feel better. Um, and so right now we're trying to do the whole Marie Kondo strip tons of our stuff away and have just be more minimalism. Um, and that is something that we are really embracing right now. But Christmas is always where we go wrong because all of a sudden you're buying hordes of things for the kids and, you know, more is better. And, um, and then, you know, my husband will buy me a thousand different things that's really meaningful, but, um, I don't need. So that's why Christy and I put our heads together and we're like, you know what? I would want to get love well. Why don't we do a discount so that people can incorporate that into our gifting, into their gifting list? So I think that's really lovely. Um, you can think about doing things like a massage or um, a gift certificate to a, somebody's favorite restaurant or have an experience. Um, just in this day and age, we're so, it's, we have so much um, access to things in our hands because we have our phone in our hands and you can scroll through and just buy things that land on your doorstep in 24 hours. And it can get quite addictive. And it's also why we are accumulating more things than we actually really need. So I like to look at Christmas as a way to connect, reconnect with everyone in your family. Um, it is a... a period of time we can be really grateful and we can look at the stuff we already have and celebrate what we have and try not to add more to what we already have or if you really feel like you want something new you want to fold something new into your life or you're giving your children something why don't you um spend an hour purging some of the things that you already have in your household that you don't need and then so you're not just accumulating more and more you're actually taking something new that is impactful and meaningful to your life and you're gifting something that you don't need anymore to someone else who is less fortunate or someone else who would look at that thing you're giving away as something very meaningful. Um, I think that's a really lovely practice to do surrounding Christmas. Um, but yeah, my main advice is to find an hour or two in your week and sit down and really think about the loved ones you are gifting and what do they need? What do they really need? Um, is it an experience? Is it a bit of health? Is it um, saying, you know what? My Christmas present is you and I are going out for dinner and I'm taking you out for dinner and we're going to sit and we're going to have an amazing connective chat. That is beautiful and that is something that I would really love to receive. Um, so yeah, let's be more conscious minded surrounding Christmas and, and let's make healthy choices for our mental health, for our emotional health, for our physical health. And, um, I hope that if you choose to purchase love well and give it to your friends and family, I hope they really enjoy it. It seems like we're having such beautiful feedback and Chrissy and I always say that we think people can feel the pure integrity that has gone into these products and the love and our 
just we had such a desire to bring something easy and healthy and good into people's lives and it feels like we have achieved that which is a really that in and of itself is such a christmas present for us um so we hope you enjoy it uh have the best christmas with your family and friends and um just enjoy yourselves Mwah. all right bye